This is a GR Yaris. And if you're here in the States, we got flipped the bird. We are not getting this car. But there have been rumors from Toyota that we may be getting some sort of a hot hatch. And it may end up being this the GR Corolla. In this video, I'm gonna talk about all of the rumors and everything you need to know about the GR Corolla leading up to this point. Now, I made a previous video about the GR Corolla. I'll put it up somewhere around here, but there has been updates since then. Since the last video, Mortar Trend had a interview with Bob Carter, the VP of Toyota here in North America. In the interview, they talked about GR racing and what's gonna happen in the next couple years. Now, most of the interview was them talking about the GR86, the GR Supra, and also the fact that they are not going to touch SUVs as of yet. He said that that is not off the table, it is not impossible, but in the short and medium term, they are not expecting to touch SUVs. The reason they don't wanna to touch SUVs is because that high center of gravity, it just doesn't make sense for the GR brand. They want performance oriented cars, low center of gravity that handle super well and look great. The VP also took a second and reminded everybody to absolutely destroy that subscribe button down below. Now at this point, you may be asking yourself, well, when did he talk about the Corolla? what does this all mean for the Corolla? At one point in the video, he talked about a new model that's coming to America and to check back with him this time next year. Say what? Now, all of that aligns up to the previous rumors of the GR Corolla coming out this time, so early summer 2022. Another thing that has changed is if you go to Toyota's website and you click on their upcoming cars, you'll see a big picture of a GR Yaris. Now, they make it very clear in the beginning of the description that we are not getting that here in America, but they do say that America does deserve some sort of new modeled hot hatch. At the bottom of the page, you can put in your information and they can send you updates. Now they're hinting at the GR Corolla. Essentially, you would take the guts and the drivetrain from the GR Yaris and put it in the five door and bring it here stateside. Now, for those of you that don't know why everybody is so hyped about the GR Corolla, let me give you some of its specs. It's gonna be a 268 horsepower, three cylinder turbo, six speed manual, all wheel drive with a selectable diff. Now, this diff can send power around to the front and rear. So for example, if you want a rear bias, you can send 30% to the front and 70% to the back, have 50-50 or a little more to the front than to the rear. Now in a market where STIs are constantly going up in price, Evo 8s and 9s have absolutely exploded in value in the last year. This Corolla is going to be something very interesting and on everybody's watch list. Now what do I think is going to happen next? I think we're going to continue to get updates. We're going to continue to hear rumors and hints from Toyota about this Corolla. I'm hoping by the end of this year, it will get officially announced and we will have official pictures of what the outside of the car will look like. And I'm hoping that they stick to their guns and they pull everything out of the Yaris and just put it in the five door. Please. Now, if we compare this GR Corolla to the GR Yaris, the GR Yaris will have a shorter wheelbase, which is great on the track but the Corolla will have a lot more space. Now, this is usually when I'm like, oh, that's terrible, like I wish we got the GR Yaris, but honestly, if we get the Corolla, I kinda like it better, and I think a lot of people will too, because essentially what we're getting is an STI hatch from Toyota. So we should get all of Toyota's reliability, 270 horsepower almost, and I'm sure we're gonna be able to chip it, tune it, put a downpipe, and make even more horsepower, as long as the EPA doesn't crack down on us and take all of our car parts. Now, I am very, very excited for this new Corolla. I'm gonna stay as up to date as I can about this GR Corolla, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. Now, that's gonna be it for today. Smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.